Hello. I recently spent a few days camping at Baluli in the Kruger National Park, which is not the same as the Baluli where I live. That's a private nature reserve that's part of Greater Kruger, of which Kruger Park is a part, but it's next door to it, whereas Baluli Camp is inside Kruger Park, which is pretty easy to understand, I think. So I've just included some clips of some of the animals that we saw. Will the elephant leave the crocodile alone? The crocodile is just lying there enjoying a siesta, minding its own business. There's no reason for the elephant to harass it. The crocodile is not exactly sprinting into the water, but it knows what's good for it. baby python in the campsite. Very common to find hyenas walking along the fences of, of the camps in Kruger Park as a lot of people fling bones and other things over the fence for them and they get very used to it. They are quite dangerous. More at night, they become very bold at night. And in places where there are no fences or in where people leave their tents open, hyenas will wander into people's tents and grab whatever body part they find first and run off with it. And then you do get people who stick their hands through the fence to try and feed them and then the hyenas get a bonus of some extra juicy fingers. <coughs> These wild dogs were just outside the campsite one morning. There were around 14 of them. They're usually completely unbothered by vehicles and people and they're also very few, I, didn't, I don't even know any but I'm sure there must be at least a couple, but very few recorded attacks on humans. The one closest to the camera has a tracking collar. Usually there's one in each group that'll have a collar. They are highly endangered so conservationists like to keep an eye on them. They spent quite a long time pondering whether or not they should go over the causeway but eventually they decided against it and they headed off to the right back towards the campsite. So we drove over there to see if we could find them again and we found a bunch of them chasing after a poor scrub hare. They disappeared into the bush afterwards but I'm pretty sure they caught it. They were right on top of it and there were a couple of hyenas following them. Which must be quite a challenge for hyenas to follow these guys because they're constantly on the move. 
In case you're wondering about the name, you generally don't see the red crest. Crocodiles can pitch up just about anywhere. This was in a pool of water right next to the road. What a noisy little camp resident. It was hard to get footage of him because it was early in the morning and he kept flying around. This line stood up for a few seconds before disappearing back into the grass. There were two of them there, and you would have no idea. You could just be wandering along and two lions would jump out at you. Doesn't matter how big they are, all elephants love to splash around in the mud. He has something in his eye, so he needs to rub it. I'm not sure that a muddy trunk is the best thing, but it seemed to work. The oxpecker on her ear is a yellow-billed oxpecker. They used to be very rare in Kruger Park, but there was a lot of effort put into repopulating them, and now they've become much more common. And here are some cheetahs. They were quite far away from us, not a great sighting, but I hadn't seen cheetah for a few years, so I was still happy to see them. The baby python appeared in the campsite again a few days later. I was trying to find the head, but it was hidden under the coil somewhere.
This is one of a group of four ground mongrels that were on the road. One of them was pecking at someone's tyres, so I don't know if they'd driven over some roadkill or what the attraction was there. Thanks for watching.